Napoleon Bonaparte Media, uh, you know, editorial uh, on um, United States and Canadian cooperation uh, on medical training. Uh, it's a little known uh, area of cooperation uh, that the United States and Canada enlisted a great survey of uh, medical training programs back in 1910 which was hugely successful in identifying uh, deficiencies on both sides of the border. And that, uh, that particular work is something that uh, we happen to do as part of uh, the Hippocratic Knighthood Commission. Um, you know, we've been involved in accrediting uh, physicians and accrediting medical science. Um, you know, me, I have a you know, background in veterinary surgery, the short rope of uh, veterinary surgery. I'm a peer reviewed medical scientist. Um, and we found that, uh, you know, for example, the United States Department of Agriculture has been a leader uh, historically uh, in uh, sterile technique, um, in anesthesia technique. Uh, and those are, you know, a couple areas of opportunity for cooperation is looking at what uh, medical training is uh, in anesthesia, medical training in sterile technique, um, which is so useful for health policymakers on both sides um, of the American, you know, Canadian and uh, United States uh, side of the uh, equation. And so we, we extend that uh, invitation to uh, do a great survey of the United States and Canadian medical schools again. Uh, something we found, found very useful. Um, me, um, you know, my family uh, was a host family to uh, Canadian hockey players uh, in our youth where we would, uh, you know, let Canadians come down from Thunder Bay and show us, uh, you know, how to put a puck in a net. And we think that same uh, tradition uh, can translate really well uh, into uh, physician training uh, reciprocity, uh, medical science uh, training reciprocity. Uh, and so we as extend that invitation uh, to Canada under the, you know, the Hippocratic Knighthood Commission can take a close look at what uh, each institution is doing differently.